Alrighty, so most of you have already probably heard the news that Six Flags and Cedar Fair are having talks, or were having talks this afternoon, about a possible merger deal, and it is rumored that it could be as early as this week, maybe even tomorrow or today, depending on the day you're listening to this video, that Cedar Fair announces some sort of announcement on their quarterly um, conference call uh, plans or a sale um, or purchase more likely um, involving Six Flags. So I'm going to talk about kind of like how I feel, some things that I might know a little bit about. I'm going to be honest, I received some information about Canada's Wonderland about three days ago, and it makes a lot more sense now with the news that broke today on Yahoo um, and from WSJ. So um, essentially, what we know so far is um, there were rumblings in the industry um, about Cedar Fair and Six Flags discussing a merger deal again. I know this is about the second time this has happened publicly. Um, and um, uh, we further have heard that it is Cedar Fair seeking to purchase Six Flags. Um, so... That isn't 100% confirmed, though, by the way. So take that with a grain of salt. But with that said, um, from what I've heard from my sources at Canada's Wonderland, it does make sense. So um, I've heard some details that Canada's Wonderland full-time employees are essentially receiving new benefits packages um, starting next year. Um, uh, some very serious benefit package changes. So that kind of aligns with some of the, uh, the the rumors of this. So if Cedar Fair is going to be purchasing a much larger company, you would essentially need to move people around, give um, more incentive to stay, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But I also want to touch on the fact that on the Q2 stockholders call, Cedar Fair did hint to all of us that they were in a place um, to start seeking to buy properties. Now, when they said that on the call, I was thinking that they would scoop up one or two properties and that they weren't alluding to uh, essentially a merger deal with Six Flags. So it's definitely a lot larger uh, of a, a purchase than I would have ever expected. Um, and I, I'm not necessarily sure it's going to be a purchase. Uh, I, I, again, I can't fully speak on exactly how this merger would take place and who would be in charge would it still essentially be all of cedar fair's current executives in charge or would some of the six legs people move over now this is where it's going to become a hundred percent opinionated and if you are a six legs fan i am going to offend you and to be honest you could encounter me in the comment section down below all you want, but I do not give a crap. Your Six Flags as a company is literally a piece of crap, um, and I would not want them touching Canada's Wonderland with a 800-foot pole. Um, so I am really hoping that on the conference call tomorrow at 10 a.m. when I'm listening that we hear that it is Cedar Fair because regardless of how you look at things, Cedar Fair truly does build a better product they really do they build a much well more themed product they build a better atmosphere and they offer a better product i 100 percent also think that six flags does not know what they're doing the current ceo the new one um, I think is a joke hopping back and forth between decision making um, in a time when you shouldn't be doing that is a, a sign of weakness to me. And I, I don't want that running either company as well. So I would love to see what Cedar Fair has to offer um, running some of these Six Flags parks. Now, with that being said, some of these Six Flags parks and Cedar Fair parks, if a merger does take place, do sit really close um, so it would be really interesting to see which parks they choose to sell off because I'm sorry um, for those of you that are fingers crossed that this company comes out with every single park in the Cedar Fair side and Six Flags side intact. That's not what's going to happen. There are going to be some sales, whether it be to developers, whether it be the parks get sold to different companies, although um, the financial outlook in the industry is exactly what's led to this merger or is what le is leading to this merger idea. Um, so I'm not quite sure who would come in and scoop up some of these parks. So again, it could end up being sold to developers in the end. But nonetheless, it is a really scary situation for both Six Flags fans and Cedar Fair fans. And I feel like this is becoming an almost bi-yearly uh, topic of discussion, and I definitely wasn't expecting it at all. So I am shocked, but 
a few, a, a, a few key things is um, I definitely think we're going to see this merger take place. Um, a lot of the American parks did very poorly this season, and the economic downturn hasn't even taken place yet, and it is coming. And I think that what you have seen in a lot of those articles about why this merger discussion is taking place is true. Um, we saw it at a lot of the Six Flags parks, especially uh, located in a little less, um, you know, what? I'm not going to touch on that. But um, essentially, uh, Six Flags Great Adventure was one of those parks that experienced a really poor season. Um I also have heard rumors that Six Flags Magic Mountain had a really slow season, which makes sense because Knott's Berry Farm also had a really slow season. Uh, we also know Carowinds, a Cedar Fair Park, had a really slow season as well. So um, it, it's no wonder why these two chains might be coming together to merge. It gives them a lot of power in pricing um, and kind of becoming that conglomerate company in owning the industry. So if you have all those Six Flags parks and Cedar Fair parks working together under one umbrella, um, they essentially aren't competing against each other anymore. It allows them to invest less. It allows them to price exactly how they want to price. Um, it gives them extreme, again, keywords, pricing power in terms of the product they have to offer, um, the events they are going to offer, um, and preventing any further competition from entering the market around these parks, even though it is already extremely difficult for a new chain or a new company to come in and build a theme park. Nowadays, it's essentially like a multi-billion dollar project to even get a small footprint park in the ground. But um, it, it is going to be really interesting. I'm, I'm excited to see what happens on the stockholders call tomorrow. Uh, very well, we could get no information at all. So please keep that in mind as well. But um, I definitely am hoping Cedar Fair is the um, going to run the company. Um, I definitely um, hope that, you know, um, we get to keep some of the Cedar Fair parks and Six Flags parks that I have on my list that they would be first to go. Um, obviously, I don't want any parks to go, but unfortunately, with such a large purchase and thing, as you saw, uh, things just get sold. Um, but, I mean, this could be good news for CGA, by the way. I see uh, light at the end of the tunnel for California's Great America if this merger takes place. There might be lucrative cash or free cash flow in order to maybe even just change their mind about that sale of land. Um, and they might even buy that back because again, I, I don't see why Cedar fair would want to get rid of their warm market parks like CGA. I, I see why they would like this merger deal as well. I, I see Cedar fair eyeing those Texas parks, um, exponentially. I, I definitely think that Cedar fair would treat those Texas parks like royalty, um, and yeah, so I think those are some key things. If you're, if you're a Six Flags fan and your, your home park is those Texas parks, I think that Cedar Fair would invest a lot of, uh, time, money, and energy into your park, which I think would do wonders. So, um, definitely some positives. Um, there are definitely a lot of negatives as well, but I, I'll save that for after the stockholders call. Just wanted to give you guys my quick thoughts on everything. Um, and I know I am biased. I'm not the greatest Six Legs fan out there. I am 100% a Cedar Fair fanboy. Um, but yeah, anyways, hopefully you enjoyed my thoughts on this um, and any discussion that I had to provide on the matter. But yeah, stay tuned. I will provide my Cedar Fair um, stockholder call analysis um, at around 12, 1 p.m., tomorrow or today if you're watching um so thursday but yeah thanks so much for watching guys have a good one bye